made his way back in the side now. Teams up nicely with Lockie Phillips, he has in the past. As Associates awkwardly tipping it four, managed just to hold on to possession. Outside the 22, need to find a ball runner. Back door, first touch for Ingram there now. Getting wrapped up centre field, Lalaga, making his first appearance for the club. Pocket now. Clearance kick is long. Marshall underneath it. Jabs towards the corner. Phillips behind it. Plays straight away and this one fades into touch. I think you'll find the first bit of this game will be quick and it'll be all about territory. Full line out here for Palmyra early. Heavy lifting. Fading across the back. Good hands from Gori. Reese and Napu, the halfback for Palmyra, getting there quickly. No, you're off, Gold! Lost now's the call. Ants down the corner, they kick through, putting a little bit of pressure on Associates. Need to get on the ball, can't fathom around too much. And we're coming back for a 22 dropout. There's a bit of a foot race on there between Vittorius and Marshall for a second. That's once again setting deep here. Opportunity for sure to have a big run of the ball early if the ball comes his way. I'm sure he's ready. Drop comes, charge down. Cunningham tries to get his hands on it now. Associates on the ball for, from the knock on. And we'll have set back for a scrum. Knock on. An awkward little charge down off the first. 22 drop out there. Heard a little bit of talk coming out of the Palmyra camp the last couple of weeks. Jack Lloyd's men been working on a lot in the off season. They certainly looked dynamic with the ball Bro. last season, and it's all about finishing off games this year. Fine. Making sure they don't let the throttle off, Set. putting the deficits just too far for teams to climb back. Especially against a team like Associates here, they're not a chasing team. They like to get in front early and stay there as we see a nice crash ball from Malaga. Formidable inside centre for the club's future. Stagnant ball. Davies has to do a little bit of side to side to buy himself time on support. Crashing no, through no. the middle. Opportunity for Thorgerson but gets called off by the referee. Needed to follow the instruction. Referee against seven blue there, Thorgerson. Laga has a decent boot on him. This one hasn't found touch though. Chance. Marshall kicks over the top. And that one straight into touch. Not his finest effort off the boot. And we'll have a line out just in front of us. 35 out from the Soaks line. John Sowney to throw. Full line. Great throw to seven. Phillips gets it now for Ingram. Lalaga short, ball red nicely short. Supports there, and the line's faded out to the left. Penalty there, hand through the ruck. Just holding the half or the ball, couldn't quite tell which. Call from... 23 out. Soaks with the footy in hand. Full line again. They drop one, make it six. No, five man even. Phillips drops inside Ingram. Big Hemi Davies outside the 10. Up at three, almost a turnover. It's a juggle. Lost forward advantage here, the way of Associates. Noble with it on the ground. Flat ball, tip was on, doesn't give it. Amoni to Crown. Advantage over inside ball from Ingram to Lalaga. Up to the 22 now. Phillips, short ball, Sani. Supports there. Blindside's not an option. 
Has to come left, does so now. Inside tip, good. O'Keefe has it in front, 18 out. Ingram chasing, read really well by the opposition, lost forward. Ingram just facing on the inside as he caught the ball. They knew it was coming and Thorgerson makes a big hit. And all the big forwards just happy to chat about that one, let everyone know what they thought about it. Just see here, Ingram just selling it the whole time. They knew it was going to be an inside ball. Thorgerson all over it. First offensive scrum of the afternoon here. Back for Associates. Just the three on the right, leaving the blind side option open. Wing set halfway on the left side of the field. Plenty of fans down here this afternoon. Good to see you down at Allen Park. Everyone's keen to see rugby back in action. Crouch. Fine. Set. First scrum sequence is good. Solid platform laid. Popped up in the middle. Associates look like they had the pressure. But then their hooker popped up. Phillips chasing a Napu. Now balls off on the wing marshal. Apologies, Miller on the right wing. Now, popping off the ground, lost forward. Chance space, he'll go. You see off the pop ball on the ground there. Sanders just not able to hang on to that one. Probably wasn't expecting it either. Now, Palmyra face up with three short. Wing stays deep. Coming up towards the line now. Might go four flat. No bind here on far side, only just managing to get it up now. And goes down, could get a penalty this side, but it's a little bit far away for a touchy to see it all without the cameras. Ball's got to be somewhere available at the bottom there if Burnett's letting it play out. Pick and go, barely stopped there now. Counter attack coming. Plenty committed to the ruck from Associates. Need to get the ball clear soon. Does so now through Phillips. Cut out past Lalaga. Set centre field on halfway now. Hit back left. It's a good carry from Amone. And penalty now, Associates. No roll. So 10 minutes into the first half, they'll be looking for the corner, looking for an attacking piece of play here. Associates get in front early on their home ground, round one. That one finds its way inside the 22 nicely. No contest, lift at the line out, bring it down into a four set maul. And accidental obstruction. Pass the ball back before the maul was formed, they applied the pressure. They haven't engaged before you move the ball. Good technical piece of law knowledge there from Kyle Burnett just to explain that one. The ball was brought down from the line out. And before Palmyra had engaged in a maul, they had started passing the ball back between the hands, meaning there was a player in between the ball and the opposition causing an obstruction. It's an accidental one. We'll just Rouch. have a scrum. But a good disengage there Find. from Palmyra and a good pick up from the referee, Carl Set. Burnett. Scrum inside the 22 now, and Napu feeds. Cunningham playing with it at the back, but lets it go free short. Goes back door for McCabe. McCabe looks wide for his wing in Marshall. Beats the first, but getting lined up on the outside. Flag goes up. And a good secondary tackle from Olaga, but the ball was already in touch. Yep. So good cover defense associates. Not letting him escape that easy. They're going to force him to kick out. Adam Marshall did well on the first, but just didn't quite get the offload in time. Woo! 
Phillips for Ingram. Ingram cut out ball. They all thought Lalaga once again moves it to the outside centre instead. Opportunity at the back here for Moran. Moran goes straight through and Moran's going to be looking at the line for himself. Palmyra coming from every angle but he's too good. Spotted the gap and Associates get their first try of the season. Just dicing through the gap there more, and everyone thought coming off that first pass it was going to be a Lalaga ball again, but it was Jacobson and Moore and just dancing around the back, finding a little hole for himself. The cover defense were coming across, but he was just too close to the line. And Associates go up 5 0 in the first. It was a good hit up by Jacobson, good decoy, did good decoy running there once again from Lalaga who will also take the kicking duties this afternoon here. And Associates look good with the ball in hand. It's 13 minutes into the first. It's going to be a 5-0 lead, relatively easy kick. Wins died down a little bit from the previous games. Should expect him to slot this one over. It'll be interesting to see the reaction out of Palmyra as well. They tried the option of running out running out of their own 22 offset piece there. But maybe the option, late and short, instead of dishing back to Finn McCabe, could have just taken the crash ball there, set up 21 out from the line and gone the clearing kick as the conversion is successful. Well, we'll see how they back themselves in. Associates exactly where they want to be. 7-0 up early in the first half. And your Fortescue first grade clash of the week. Cave setting up on halfway. Kick goes long and deep. It'll settle inside the 22 for Elliot. Who says, I'll take a bit of it. Met by Cunningham. Flat ball. Well brought to ground by Sani after the tip. Deep ball. Malaga doing a lot of whirly for Associates. Across the back of Napu. Likes heads up footy like this. Works his way to the 10. Brought to ground eventually. Well held on Sani. Big carry here for Tupo. Now flat ball. And then round the back for short. No, sorry, Marshall. Brought to ground no, sharply. We've lost a boot as well. Counter ruck halfly successful, but through the side the arriving player, I believe, and the penalty comes the way for Palmyra. 14 entry. Correct there, Pretorius just coming in from the side. The first bit of counter ruck good, but as Pretorius came in on a sharp angle, just disrupting that ruck, Carl Burnett says no. The cable shape for the corner. No nonsense, little jab. And looks to be set about 10 out. Those are microphones. Yeah. Wait, are they? Yeah, so if you speak in them. Hi, my name's Dima. Yeah. It's not so good. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Six in. Three, two, one, two. Cutting out the number eight. Standing at half. They set the ball immediately. They fall nicely. They need to get the shove on now, but they decide to pick off to the right. The hooker goes. Gets brought down five out. It was a good run to him. Now they have a crack short side of Napu darting towards the line. Penalty advantage there as well. Opportunities here for Palmyra to answer immediately. They're digging for the ball inside. Can't quite get it clear. Might be pulled back for the penalty shortly. Burnett wants them to have a chance to play, and they do so now. Almost dumping over the top. Need a bit of a quicker ball here. Come back for the penalty. Offside's the call. Interesting to see what the option will be here now. It's a difficult kick from the corner. They're probably going to have a look at a scrum. Do so now. It's a powerful front row. They've already got the hooker to pop once. And I dare say that's what they've been going for. Forget the shovel. Let's apply pressure and maybe try to hinge him up, be sneaky, and steal another penalty out of him here. Put Soaks under real pressure from the referee. Mm. 
Scrum time now, five out from the line. All the pressure on Associates. Palmyra ready to level this game up. Cunningham off to Anapu. Flat ball into the centres, just gets caught up short. Lots of pressure on quick ball now. If they can get it out, they go across searching towards the line. And they're going to go straight over. Palmyra look to level it up. Five points to seven with a kick under the sticks. I think it could have been Sanders. Maybe Gooley that got the try. We'll have a look now. As you see, Anapu dishes this nice flat ball across the face. No, it's the captain Cunningham. Expected him to be in the first piece of play, but managed to wrap himself wide. And the captain, Dylan Cunningham, comes away with the first of the season for his team. McCabe sets up for the kick straight in front. 18 gone in the first. They expect him just to dot this one straight over. Conversion successful, seven points all. It's all tied back up. And both of these teams look hot and ready for a long day of rugby now. It's good to see the fast running style of rugby there from Palmyra, even when they're close to the goal line. You saw Soaks try to slow it down the first couple times. Once they got the penalty, took the scrum, and it was all about recycling the footy close to the line, and across they went. Restart. Calling for it underneath there and drill. Normally warms outside, into the outside. game as players get tired. Expected to do some running late in the halves. Cunningham, happy to have another piece of the footy, he says. Turnover looks likely here and it does come the way. Luke bows straight over the top of that one. Associates in a very prime position just to dot three over, take the points back and get themselves back in front. It's a good centre field, little hill up by Cunningham, but you see immediately arriving player, Luke Bowers, millimetre perfect, just getting on there as the player was brought to ground, wasn't a tackle assist. And Associates are going to shape up, take the points. Oh, sorry, I believe it might be Jack Noble, six and eight, had it maybe confused. So seven all, 20 gone. Chance to add the extra three. And it's a solid nudge straight over the top. 10 points to seven. And associates just like that are back in front. Restart now, close to the 22. Hemi Davies has another big run at the ball, an imposing figure when he got when he has ball in hand. Phillips, good flat ball, needs some assistance. Does Lynch? Now pocket. Ingram sets. Anapu's back has to chase a bit, gets there just in time. Goes to ground now. Support arrives nicely, Palmyra. Flat ball running on. Standing up straight was Chupo. Gets held up in the contest. Maul called now, referee. Opportunity here, ball is the back though. Anapu tries to step around the first one through Elliott. 40 out. The juice. Fullback called to use it. Anapu's underneath the ruck. Lost forward. Scooped out wide. Opportunity here. Hemi over the top. No advantage. Five in front of the kicker. Not a bad net result there for Soaks in the end because it's going to be covered by a short. So as you see here, 
Just lost forward in this contact here. It's a good low hit from Associates. Ball gets flicked out the back. Another scrum opportunity now. They've been good so far. Only had the one case of the pop-up in the middle. Crouch. Soaks all set out to Five. the left. Classic just 45 degree angle. Looks like Six. they want to send it wide. Phillips at the back. Cut out pass Lalaga. Back door. Grubber goes through but gets bumped off. Now Palmyra end up back with it. Gooley. Penalty comes. Enough it goes run, quickly. Odd Got option it. here, but there's a chance. Offside advantage coming as well for Power up Tui gets brought down on the wing. Now Thorgerson. Ball's a bit slower out of this one. New advantage. New advantage offside again. Associates need to be careful. Pick and go. McCabe cut out pass wide opportunity for Andrew. Andrew fight still driving through. Flat ball, plenty of forwards out for the next pot on the left here. They're going to want quick ball. Fishing, fishing, coming back. The penalty was good there for Associates. No advantage offside. Offside. Chance to level this one back up and taken immediately there by McCabe. So 10-7, 25 gone in the first. And an opportunity, about 36. Yeah, 36 out, dead in front. And on comes the T for Palmyra. A couple times in a row there. Associates just a little bit too keen to get up in the face. Nothing wrong at this level. Taking that extra half a step and backing the line speed that you got. Just silly little penalties you don't want to be giving away. Giving opportunities to get back on level level terms here for Palmyra. Okay. Had very good kicking accuracy last season. Long future here as Palmyra's number 10 if he keeps things up like this. As this one looks good, fades left, no good. 22 dropout. Did look sweet off the boot. But just pushing that one left. Twenty-two restart here. Options long. Palmyra have it at the back. Chip and chase from the fullback over the top. Phillips gets it, runs into his own man, then gets ragdolled to the floor. Awkward little ball. Did well to re-secure the lager, then fires out wide to the back of Jacobson. Brought down nicely out wide. Chance for the turnover now, and another crack at the post looming here for Palmyra. Just getting caught out wide, Associates, not many numbers. And Jacobson's a little bit hurt through there, and we'll have our first bit of time off. Time's off. Time's off, guys. So time's off while we have a look at this one here. As you see, the lager fires this one out. Jacobson has a good little bit of angle. Short with a big hit. And then McCabe straight over top. is there for a long while, too, maintaining his feet. It's good work by the number 10. Yeah, he did. And it looks like he's done a bit of a busted eyebrow there. Probably be sent for blood in a second there. Young Jacobson, another fine for the Associates back line here this season. 
Yeah, that one. They look to be a good centre pairing here, Lalaga and Jacobson early on. Could be two very good pickups. See there, Phillips just got absolutely ragdolled there. Jacobson makes his way off. Tom will be back on shortly. Cunningham was just having a chat with Kyle there before. Time's back on. Penalty there. And this time on the easier kick, McCabe says no, we'll go to the corner. So changing tactics in the last 30 seconds there from Cunningham, the captain. And they want to have a crack at the line, actually get in front in this ball game. Ball formed. Ball comes out quickly though. And the chance Cunningham in the line. He wants two tries for himself early. Only a couple out from the line. McKay back door, fanning it out wide now. Opportunities here. And Drilly gets caught. Ball still in, says the referee. Wrapped up now, five out. Napu digs, finds Tui. Associates scrambling to get man on. There's a gap just between the posts. There's a big gap for Short to run into, but they go straight over the top. The pick and go was too good anyway. Looks like the big man underneath, Vida Tupo. Has scored the second here for Paumara, and they're going to take the lead. 12 points to 10, kick to come. Maybe just a little bit too big of a scramble there from Associates. You saw about six or seven players rushing out wide to the left. Maybe needed to keep one or two more in the ruck. And it opened up a big gap there, Vita Tupo. To just get himself over the line, score himself an early try. 28 gone in the first half. Kick to come from McKay, make it 14-10. See just on the left of screen there. See it's to end this half sweetly. Play. Play on's the call from the referee. Hotly contested. Still driving forward off the ball though. A little bit of taste off the bottom of the ruck there. Some arriving players just applying the shoulders in. Set deep now McCabe. Short. Fires early, finds runners. Fullback shows, goes, gives it on the outside. Opportunity here, big hit though. By La Larga and nowhere for Adam Marshall to go, but into touch. Anapu. John Sanu needs to be careful there. Just came across and gave Reese Anapu a little bit of a a bit of a shove with the head. We're going to have time Tom's off and talk about it. Burnett doesn't seem too phased. Lucky. Two. But we are going to come across and have a chat. So it was a slight head butt. Two. We'll have a listen in. Okay. Where's she's up down there already, man? I've got head on head here. Yeah? There's not force in it. There's head on head. Please. Thank you. So Carl Burnett looks to stay on side with the opposition early in the year. It's only round one. There was not much in it. But it's a penalty nonetheless. It was completely off the ball and it was just wandering over. Everyone saw it on the bench too. Sorry, up on the hill here on the left. So be thanking your lucky stars here, John Sowney. We'll be asking for no more of that for the rest of the season. Thank you very much, mate. Full line brought down at four. Ball gets disrupted and now opportunity here. Associates are on the ball. Kamara going to have to get a disruptive drive on to get this one back. Associates just don't need to be silly here. 
Driving now ball. though, ball looks like it's made its way to ground and penalty pulling down. Associates did well to get on the ball early there, just needed to maintain the pressure, maybe take a little bit of a walk. But just decided to bring that one down around the left hand side and to ground. Interesting the option now and scrum the call. So Pema are going to back themselves to score tries here this afternoon. So about 12 in from the touchline. Probably about 12 out from the line as well. Line set very flat here for Palmyra. They got 10, 12, 13 flat. And then 15, 14. Just one set back out wider. And there's a clean scrum with the written wheel up to the right. Wouldn't be surprised if Cunningham has a little crack himself again. Try to take on little Tommy Ingram standing at 10. Hit and hold goes down and we'll have a third look at this one. I think just a little bit of game gamesmanship from both teams there. Trying to fish a little bit of a penalty out here. It's a risky game to play though. Seven to go in the first half, 14 to 10. As I stated previously, Associates aren't a chasing team. They much prefer to be in front of the half. Cunningham dishes off a Nabu and Nabu flat ball to short, short straight through. It's a brilliant piece of play off the back of the scrum. And late and short. Once he's running at pace and running hard, he's hard to stop. <laughs> See, very happy with themselves off that. As the score moves, 10 to 19, kick to come. Late and short gets one for himself. It was a brilliant piece of play off the back of the scrum. Cunningham just faked to go, drew the attention of Phillips, popped an Napu, and an Napu. Flat ball into the hole. Ingram was caught chasing inwards on McCabe. And I think Lalaga was just angling outwards a little bit too much. Opening up a gap, late and short, darting through. Okay. Conversion successful as well there now. 10 to 21. With five and a half left in the first half. This one's held up in the wind, just makes its way past the 10, but lost forward and scrum down Palmyra ball. Wasn't a bad little jump in the air there by Jesse Elliott. Just couldn't hang on though. No, sorry. Blue ball. Blue ball. Sorry, knocking my balls first and then my blue. <laughs> Nearly got me. <laughs> so split two and two with two at the back. Crowd. Left the back right corner a little bit open. They've gone full back, deep back, left wing. Fine. Set. Palmyra four out left, two blind side. They feed left. Phillips half shrugged off but holds on. No Slow ball. Needs to get it out now. McCabe. Flat ball to Boat. And Apu. 
Darts through one and two. Gets brought down the third. Very decisive at the line. Tupo again. Brought to ground nicely this time. Top. And it was a very dominant body position. Draws the penalty for Associates. See here McCabe. Flat ball. Full back. Sorry, I get a name for him in the second half for everyone. It was a great tackle here by Ingram. And you see just there, number six gets around the back, comes through the gate. And a very positive body position. Gets over, wins the turnover. Clearing kick makes its way to halfway. Sauni with the feed, five man. Have a crack at four. Held on nicely, Phillips, Ingram. Oh, big hit up in centre field. Inside check ball. Handed off nicely. Good run there, Matthew Moore. Phillips, flat. Taking on contact there, Ben. Short forward pod. Not much space to manoeuvre. Now they go deep. Rush defence is good from short. Ingram manages to get Fleer Lalaga. Doesn't hold on to the ball. Now the grubber goes through. McCabe's chasing and out wide once again. Palmyra on it and they dot it over again. Christopher Miller chasing through. And Palmyra just here. Ingram Lalaga gets it but just tries to shove it through. McCabe straight on the boot gets it through. And flying through out wide. Beautiful chance there for Christopher Miller. Waits, 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 and just dots it over the line. And 26 to 10. Pamaya have inserted themselves into the first round of the Fortescue Premier grade with force. Another decent kick here for McCabe. After this is going to be about 45 seconds left by my watch. Cabe kicks really nicely through that one and gets the extra two again. It's Associates 10, Palmyra 28. Lager goes high midfield. Brought to ground. Cunningham was an option left, but now they're going to build the box structure. Jobbed backwards. Come backwards, guys. Play on the call. What does Moran have at the back here? Lalaga steps inside one. Cunningham meets him up and forces the knock on. And another counter attack opportunity here now for Palmyra. Tui went to ground first. Short tries to grub her through. We'll have a scrum reset, and that might be the half. Just enough time for the scrum by the looks of it. So late and short wanted to use the knock on advantage, just didn't quite get it in his palms. And the grubber through, not quite coming off. Crowd. Fine. Set. A little bit low on the far side. But scrum stays stable. McCabe short ball. Gee, you can hear it coming from the crowd. Palmyra wanted another one. Finn McCabe absolutely setting up late and short for another big run. He was off to the races there. We'll have a look at it on the replay here. As you see, Finn McKay pumps once, then short ball. Ingram rashed up. Phillips was nowhere. And Lalaga needs to be tighter on late and short in the second half. Can't let him have that gap on the inside. Time for another scrum. 
Maybe I missed a bit of time off on my watch. Lost forward. Luke Bowles with a big unforced error at the back of the ruck, at the back of the scrum, sorry. McCabe and Miller out to the right, full back behind, disrupted ball and lost forward this time from Cunningham. The reply from Soaks is good. And Carl Burnett says four scrums is enough.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second hard half of your 2021 Fortescue Premier Grade Clash of the Week. It was a big first half from Palmyra. They're in a very ideal position for the way they want to play this second half. It's 28 to 10. Carbonet getting us set, getting us ready. And we're back underway. McCabe sends one high. They let this one bounce. Associates need to just organise underneath it. Now settling just outside their 22, but there's a turnover. Chance Cunningham gives it out to his wing. Back inside to Cunningham, gets brought down five metres out from the line. This is a big early start here for Palmyra. Early points on the board. Associates don't like chasing as it is. And if they get this margin out any further, it's going to be massive. Mahaki brought, brought to ground. Just enough support there to survive. Thank you. Hughes. Ball comes spinning out now. Centre field here for Gooley. Brought to ground, no. Uh, sting leg drive through. Now one out from the line again. Big chance here. Diving at the line, Palmyra. Could they be over here? Might just be short. Has to be inches. Ball's available. No. And a little bit of handbags after. We'll have a talk about it. So brought down across the line. First by Palmyra, wasn't held up, ball was available, but off the floor. And so now dotted down by Associates, we'll have a 22 drop out. La Larga sends this one deep to the middle. Full back for Palmyra, straight through once again. Needs to find an option, cover defense was coming though. Still on his feet, manages to buy time for support, does really nice there. Across the back, trying to find ball runners. Leg drive short. McCabe. Short ball, straight through Palmyra, go over. And they're going to get the first of the second half. Tui Makaki is going to dot this one over. And Associates are in a world of trouble now, early in the second half. And it's going to be 33 to 10. Just a lot of pressure being built on this Associates defense in the last 15 minutes of play or so. Couple of replacements to come on now as well. Replacing Risa Napu. And number 21 will be Hayden Whitney Lloyd. I was surprised to see him actually starting in the reserve grade side. Played only one half of footy there and then was brought straight to the bench and took the jersey off. And I think this is exactly the reason why now, even though they're dominating, they've brought him straight on for the second half of this clash here. McCabe dots over the extra two. So 35 to 10. And we're only three to four minutes into the second half. Associates are going to have to hold on to some ball. Oh, sorry. And really start retaining things if they're going to get back into this contest. It was a brilliant break from the fullback. Short ball for the Lager almost gets through the hole. You're off now, six. Slow ball, penalty advantage. Opportunity for Associates to try something as they enter the 22 here tackle. now. High tackles the call. Pick and drive thrown forward. Now at 10 to 35. Plenty of footy left in the half. It's not the worst result to just take the points. I know many would disagree but you probably think they're going to have to look to the corner and start scoring some tries quickly. Nudging 
to the corner nicely. Probably still going to be about eight out. So Associates, five man. Up at six. No engage. Smarts again from the Palmyra line out formation. They decide to stand off. Phillips feeding a forward runner. And again, this time Lynch hit up squarely. Now backwards, Ingram running into a wall of Palmyra and suddenly Associates on the back foot back towards their 22, balls out. Ryan O'Keefe has to take this one to ground. They need to reset and settle, start calling some attacking plays here, Associates. Quattrell. And now Sani. Phillips gets caught in the contest. Advantage will come back offside. Just had his feet in front of the last man there, and Phillips has a crack quickly. The players were on side, deemed by the referee. Ingram fills in at half. Little chip and chase over the top opportunity. Needs to be quick. Off the crossbar. It's going to make it bounce too far. Gee, you don't see that one every day. Little chip and chase over the top. Looked like he could have had a chance there off the bounce. But it's just come off the crossbar. And it's gone over. Dead ball. So we'll have a 22 dropout. Deep ball. Settles underneath. Ingram across the back. Finds Ben Morham. No obstruction there. Lynch. Lynch out wider. Opportunity for the wing. Shrugging off one. It was a good run by Matthew Moore. Short little ball. Not much support. Doing well to keep his feet to get down now was Bowles. Off feet potential there. Six blue off feet. Phillips has a crack. Now off it comes and Associates diving towards their own line. Lost forward. Will come back for the penalty. Denver Quattrell just penalty. losing that one as he made the line break. But it was six blue off feet. Liam Gooley. And the Power Meyer fans a little bit on edge. They've got a buff up, but they don't want to see too much of it. Time's off as well. Just want to have a little chat with Sean, the captain. So time's still off. Just waiting on a sub. But Associates, 10 minutes into the second half. They're going to need some points and they're going to need them quickly. Come on. Time's back on. Kick to the corner. It's just in the field of play. So five metre line out. Associates feed. Looks like they're setting up a full line. No, dropping one out. Just a five man again with flanker at half. Off the top. Ingram flat ball, Alaga. Leg drives nicely. Set up center field, 10 from the line here. Sani, drag to ground. Quick ball recycling out to the right. Opportunities are there. 
Need to find the second pass here, Associates. The defense is good so far from all the forwards from Palmyra. No way through that hole, Luke Bowes. Collapse. Collapse, Ruck play on. <laughs> and now the turnover penalty comes Palmyra's way. Not enough support off the Ball second the pick and go. First man on the ball. A good piece of hands across the back by Hayden Whitney Lloyd. So now, complete opposite story. Other end of the field, defensive setup here for Associates. Can they clear as well as Pally did? Get in front at three. Phillips, the replacement center. Pocket, Alaga. Not too much meterage gain on this one. It's only about 32 out. Full line set. No, just six. Associates get in front of four but miss it. Goes off to the back anyway. Associates get it. And Ingram tries to turn the defense. Eden at the back. He's had quite the game so far, but not so much on his boot. That's three in a row that haven't really worked out for him. Maybe he needs to stick to his running game because it's been what's working so far. So now, after a mistake, well, two mistakes there from Palmyra. Associates get their game back. Line out, Palmyra's 10, associate speed. Couple subs coming on. I do like the term that Palmyra have decided to use this year for their substitutions as well. They're not subs, they're finishers. They're big impact players that come off the bench, try and win a game for them. The Lager, flat ball, chances out wide this time for Moore again. Moore not held. Gets his support through his opposite winger, Pretorius. Phillips has a look short side, then gets the hands off, flirting with the touchline. Goes to grub, but it goes straight into touch that time from Jesse Elliott. So lots of territory being exchanged by both sides right now. Still all the advantage in favour of Palmyra on the scoreboard. Just coming up on 15, got in the second. Brought to ground, Palmyra. Set for box. Use. Whitney Lloyd at the back, sends this one high, gains a couple meters and finds its way over into touch. Off the top. The Lager finding a short ball for, I believe, Lewis. Now Quattro. Short side again. Sowney intercepted by Short. Short's got a crack, or could it be Marshall? Might be either one. They're hard to tell apart, but I know one thing is they're going to go all the way here. It's a good chase, but the speed is too much, too strong. 
And a, so, a Palmyra going to dot another one across the line. I believe it was Chris Miller this time. So 10 to 40. With a kick to come. And Palmyra have said welcome to the competition. We're here to play this year. They've only had a couple changes. I think just the two fresh faces. They're still very young side around the park, but they've been together probably about their third year for most of these boys together now. Some older heads like Cunningham and stuff still managing to find a way to strap the boots on. But certainly look like they're a cohesive unit at the moment. Everyone knows where they're going to be. So 40 points to 10. Kick to come. And the conversion successful as well. So 42 to 10. Associates set back up on halfway. Just lost forward through the contest. Scrum down, Palmyra ball. 22 minutes to go in the second half. Starting to slow down a little bit some of the forwards from both teams out there now. I don't think we'll see a drop in skill here. Fine. Set. Lots of pressure Get being put on the associate's loose head here. Manages to hold his own weight, turned his opposite number inside even. McCabe fires this one wider. Brought to ground about 30 out. Short side opportunity, Eden trying to have a crack at the line. Grubbers through and a chance on the inside for Whitney Lloyd. Doesn't dot it down as well. He's going to find the extra meters. What a crafty little kick underneath. And it's the man that's come after his one half a second grade. Comes across and Hayden Whitney Lloyd goes across for his own try. It was a brilliant little kick on the inside. 47 to 10 now in favor of Palmyra. Kick to come straight in front. But what a little grubber from Eden after making the break short side. It was a good option by Whitney Lloyd to go short side. Got the hands off. And then while being brought down by two, Eden manages to get the grubber through. And then Whitney Lloyd just finishes it off. Under the post nicely for his side. As that one goes over the top two. So 10 to 49, who would have predicted this margin? Always going to be an entertaining game, this one, but not always a high scoring one. George got one goal coming off. Another sub coming here. Looks like Jaden Lynch's day is done for Associates. And big Parsi Fine has come onto the field with some heavy leg strapping. So we had like a little 10 minute run okay. in the warm up, a 10 little 10 minute warm up for the reserve grades earlier. So hopefully that means he seems okay. And Associates wanting to bring on a little bit of firepower to finish this game off. Blue McCabe in the pocket sends it high in center field. Morin. Lalaga fires this one wider. Big chance for a run for Associates. Now getting all the meters out of this one, juicing it, but then brought down from short from behind and then now causes the turnover and once again it's a foot race with Chris Miller brought to ground instead couldn't get away from them this time but 
What a little passage of play. Yeah. See McCabe tries to take off there, then gives the hands off. Comes off. And it might have just been away for the race if it wasn't for that tackle that time. The again, Christopher Miller just dragged into touch and we'll have time off. So a couple injury replacements coming on here and there. A bit of water as well for some tired mouths. Thanks, boys. Looks like Come we're on. all set to go in a second now. Time's back on. Oh, sorry, we man on the back of the no time back off. Sorry. And car's going to have to go again quickly because then the physio ran off immediately. Time's back, 22 into the second half. Line out, Soaks ball, short man. Lots of ball runners setting up center field, brought down nice, bit nicely by Gooley. Short ball goes off this time to Elliott. Short side for Bowles. Short again, almost offside, short side as well. Flat play here. Soundy, big no look short pass. Didn't mind seeing that one. But that one's lost forward in the contact. Counter up coming through as well. Thank you. Kyle's going to deem play on. No, he's going to go penalty. Could be in from the side. No, we're going to have a little chat about something here. Was a messy old ruck. Pretty interesting to see what happened at the bottom of that. Thumbs off. Yeah, we've got a little flag from the side. George Foster Jones is going to have a little chat. We'll see if we can hear them. Okay, we're sports. Okay. So we've got a swinging arm that's made direct contact with the player's head. We're sports. Um, we're we talking fist, forearm, forearm. What I'm hearing is that's the red card. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So a little bit hard to make out there, but what we're hearing from the camps is looks like yeah. big passy fine. fine. We'll have a short stint on the field today. Are you sure? There's no mitigating that at all. Are you sure? I'm going on my what other decisions. So the word from the touch judge was. And it's a reliable one from George Foster Jones. A swinging arm. With, with, yeah, bring him on. Making bring him contact on. to the head from the forearm I'm, I'm gonna find out with now. force. So no mitigating factors. Three blue. Arm Stop. to the head with force. Has to be a red card every single time. Uh, seven gold sub. And seven gold's going to have a sub as well. George, where's the mark? George, where's the mark? A little bit of gamesmanship oh, wow. going on on the sidelines as well. Just showing there was no ill intent to his friends. Yeah, Fine's just going to find himself on the bench. As we see here, we have a look. Uh, shot, guys. Now, it could have been before that, but if it's there, there's not much in it. So they're going to take the points here, take some more time off the clock. See if we can take one more look at it while we've got a second while McCabe sets up here. So you see here the big man on the far side just has him there and if it is that one there he might get off a little bit. Still does make a forearm to the face with force. And it's a very good kick from Finn McCabe in the meantime. So the letter of the law is clear. But I believe the words were swinging arm. Uh, that was just a bit of a shove off to the chest. Did make contact with the chin though. Uh, we've got about so it's a tough under, little world under. here in rugby now. Quick kick off was taken there by Lalaga. Wants to get this game underway, taken on by himself. 52 to 10 the score. 
Lost forward. Right idea. Couldn't quite hold on to the ball. Just a little bit too eager there. Now they're going to have to make another forward replacement. Since they have got the red card there. So it's been a good return to rugby. The 15 of the men out on the field so far this afternoon. The other 15 probably not so much. But it's good to see it back. We've all been missing a bit of rugby on our Saturday afternoons. I think we're ready to settle in for a long winter to come. Crouch. Fine. Set. Both teams happy to accept the low hit this time. Jabbing kick comes straight up. And into touch on the full. We'll be heading straight back. He started in front of him. He just stopped. Yeah. Not the greatest kick in the world there from Meyer. It's probably only the fault we could have in their game this afternoon. A few of their kicks have just been a little bit wayward. Short line out goes to the front, but then intercepted once again. They're doing the correct plays to get themselves moving, get the ball flowing. But that's two times in a row in the last minute. They've just given the possession back away after doing Tackle so. Release. No release. McCabe, pocket, and taken back again. So twice in a row, gifted possession going back the way of Associates. And now with a line out inside the 22, it's now or never. Fifteen minutes to go. Lots of points left to bridge the gap. Lager favouring the right foot in the second half here, just happy to step inside. Jack release. Brought to ground finally now. Backdoor play, finding its way to the wing. Opportunity now for Moran. Needs to get through the first bit of contact, dives over the line and scores. There's a lot of work left to do, but if they can get a few more pieces of play like that together, Associates could at least have a little crack at this. You see it. Ben Moran. Just gets the double cutout pass, double pumps on his outside, rolls through the contact nicely, reaches over the line. And 15 to 10, uh, sorry, 15 to 52, kick to come in the corner. Thank you, Hurry up play. That Lalaga has been imposing in the last two minutes. Wants to make sure of this kick, taking all of his time. Opportunity to close the gap ever so slightly more. This one just needs a little bit of distance and gets it nicely. Conversion successful. 17 to 52. It's an uphill battle, but I'm sure for the pride's sake, Associates are going to want to narrow this gap and close out this second half, show that there's a little bit something to come back for next week. Long kickoff into the 22. Phillips finds a bit of grass. Bounce is favourable as well. Chases are coming. Whitby Lloyd has to dump on, jump on it late. Digging ever so slowly. Eventually getting out and lost forward. Could there be the opportunities coming here now for Associates? Pemaya retiring. Cedars at the back here fishing for the ball. Never really had a full grasp on it. And just dishes that one into the dirt. No real way Vita Tupo is going to pick that one up clean.
gone down near side. Ball available at the back, so we decide to play. Short ball, straight through the gap. Almost obstruction, but it was beautifully timed. Associates chance to double up quickly here. Brought to ground inside the 22. Now lost forward off Phillips. No, arms out to the right. Lost forward through the tackle. As you see here, beautiful short ball by Lalago. There's a case for a little bit of obstruction there through the tackle, but it was still a one-on-one -on -one that could have been made. It was a handy little run to get them inside the 22, and then, yeah, as you just see, good pick up by Burnett. The tackler's arm wrapping around, just yeah, losing that one forward through the contest. Scrum centre field, 10 out. Split three and three here for Associates. Yeah. and Moore out to the left. Now Moore settles behind the scrum. moment in this game. Set. Ten minutes to go. Chance to get a second quickly. Too early. early shove far side. Too Free early. kick comes the way. Philip goes quickly off the boot. Lalaga gives a chance on the wing but he loses it forward. All he had to do was really press the wing for a one-on-one -on -one leg drive but Matthew Moore has lost it forward and into touch the ball goes. You see here Phillips taps quickly goes gets the hands off to the replacement fly half Alaga frees the ball up and just gets the palm off a little bit too early to take on Christopher Miller and Matthew Moore bobbling it into touch options here for scrum or line out line out no scrum is the call from the line off It's a scrum. Seven out, five in. Short set to run the ball. McCabe in pocket in case things get ugly. Cross. Fine. Set. Good shove once again from Associates, but nonetheless, Short gets his crash ball. Now McCabe in the pocket, shanking a little bit once again. Doesn't get outside the 22. Gets the first one beat, tries to go inside, outside. Gets made up by a little bit of contest. Phillips now fires at center field, interception once again. Now offload Cunningham. Cunningham inside ball. Phillips into session again, but he's running the wrong way. Counter up coming over the top here strongly. Palmyra could be all over it, but they're off their feet, every single one of them. Lalaga taps, goes, has space inside ball. Now, Sauni fires it wide. Needs to just run straight. The big man out here, number 18, out into the wing, and Associates have another. Ball firing absolutely everywhere in that passage of play. A little bit of hot pockets going on. And Associates end up with one in the corner, moving 22-52. Just closing the gap, trying to get a couple of consolation points in here now. I mean, where do you start with this passage of play? Came off the back. Little opportunity from Palmyra. McCabe center fielded it. Lots to unpack here. It was a good little option here for Moore and to go across the back, Pretorius just shows fakes, puts on a little bit of speed, gets on the outside, then is able just to dart back in, draws three, gets the offload, Phillips, and then throws it inside. Then the intercept happened once again. You go to Cunningham, Cunningham, his eyes light up. He goes, I've got to try in the first half, I can go again. Phillips tries to escape around the back of the outside. I mean, there's a little bit of everything there. Then Lalaga ends up going straight through the middle. No look over the top. And Sani fires a double cut out over the top of the defense again. Big man reckons he's in, just fires it off. 
And the replacement, the number 23, who I don't have a name for, sorry. Just gets it in the corner as the kick comes across and that one's just on the right-hand side of the uprights. Five minutes to go is the call now. Player down midfield, 22 to 52. So gonna have time off. So it's been a good day at the office for Manahira Eden for Palmyra, the number 15, just making his way off the pitch now. Seems to have picked up a bit of a leg injury. Had some really good ball running. Needs to have to spend a couple more hours on his kicking this Come week on. in training. But besides that, he's been sharp. Time's back on, five to go in this game. Could leave this one to go, and Foot's just gone in touch, touch. He says no. Lucky to get away with that one, Associates. Phillips, collapsed ruck, Cunningham has to leave the half alone. Sounding. Tackle assist. Tackle Easy. assist, never release the ball carrier. Penalty of the way of Associates. The player's down there for Soaks as well, not happy with it. Time off once again, just a little bit of trouble here for Sounding. Grabbing his elbow like it's his arm yeah, here. Something. As we have a look at the foot here, was he out? Oh, he's probably just out there on the yeah, replay. Couple of blades of grass in it. And as you see here, <laughs> John Sound is going to get the ball here with his hand out. Looks like it is his right arm, so we'll see which way he falls on it. Yeah, and it might have just got trapped. No, it's his left knee. Uh, sorry, right knee. Just got trapped a little awkwardly underneath. A little bit of compression. So that might be his day done now as well. To see, I'm sure if he's not too badly injured, we'll see him back very shortly. Victorious fights his way yet 45 out from his own line. And now loss forward. So Thorgerson just getting caught, not rolling in the previous ruck. Then the quick tap once again coming across. Phillips's pass on the way down, just not the greatest, causing a knock on. Scrums have been solid today. Both teams have set a Crow. relatively low body position. Fine. Which is good to see that they're holding a nice low weight, keeping Set. those shoulders above the hips. To see their great platform from both sides there. Good pitches late in the game, still with heavy, heavy tired bodies. McCabe, outside ball, then round the back once again. Cave tries to jab through, gets blocked, charge down. Little dart. Short. Needs a bounce. Gets a good one. This is going to be a line out. 21 and a half out. Sorry, 22 and a half out. Touchy not giving associates the favour of making it inside. Two minutes, ten to go on the clock. Phillips, wide ball, Pretorius with open space to get one more gas burner going again now. Shaves to kick, decides to take the contact. Then Morin in the inside. Flat ball across the back. Bows, centers to the 40. Plenty of numbers out to the left here. Off the boot. Big forwards chasing on here for Soaks. 
taken on the inside, Marshall. So Chris Miller it was. And get their way back to 35 out from the line. One more try in it, they think. Wimmy Lloyd lets the backs run free out wide. A little bit of a... 